there, it's me, H.L. Burke. I've been really wanting to use YouTube more, and I got this brand new headset from my husband, and he says it's like the best on the market. I made a mistake of telling him it was a great headset, and he said, no, it's the best headset. So apparently, the best headset on the market. And it's probably even picking up my cat who's walking down the hallway, meowing right now. His name is Bruce, and he is awesome. I love my cat. But anyway, I thought I would do a quick vlog to tell you a little bit about what's going on with H.L. Burke and what you can expect in the near future. And I have my hlburkeblog.com if you want to keep up with me there. Or you can go to hlburkeauthor.com and you can sign up for my messages. Um, I do a monthly newsletter. I try not to do it more than once a month. It's mostly just new releases and bargain books. But anyway... I am desperately trying to get Call of the Waters, which is the sequel to Lands of Ash, published. Um, and you should say, well, why desperate? Because you're a self-publisher, you can just do it. But I have kind of a standard, and I, I don't put my books out there until they've gone through a certain amount of better readers and critique partners. And that process is taking a little longer than I thought. Not because the book is particularly rough, just because I've been having a lot of things going on in my real life. I've moved across the country. Um, last time I spoke with you, I was in Florida. Actually, no, I think I might have made some small videos when I was in Oregon with my family. But um, I moved from Florida, and I went to stay with my family in Oregon over Christmas while um, my husband packed up the house and moved, and now I'm in Oregon. Oh, no, sorry, now I'm in California. And that was a big process, and it was not fun. Moving is not fun. But I'm kind of nice to be on the West Coast again. I'm more of a West Coast girl than a East Coast girl or southern girl, definitely not a southern girl, or an east coast girl, I'm definitely a west coast girl, I mean that's part of my identity, we have better coffee, I'm probably going to start a war there, but I, I miss having a coffee shop on every corner, and coffee is very important to me, and I don't drink sweet tea, <laughs> where was I, anyway, so we had that whole move thing, and that was a big deal, and through it all, I managed to keep writing, and I'm doing my best to keep giving you um, books at a reasonable schedule. I just recently put out Cora and the Nurse Dragon. I'm very proud of it. I hope you guys get a chance to read it and tell me what you think. Maybe leave a review because those reviews are very helpful to get the book pushed up in the Amazon algorithms, which gets me more exposure and hopefully more sales and maybe more readers. Um, I wrote a steampunk novella called Nissa Glass and the House of Mirrors, which I'm really excited to share with you about. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm planning to make that a serial or a series of um, short novellas. My husband is laughing in the background. He has a very loud laugh. I think he may have had a couple beers. <laughs> but anyway, so... Um, I want to get that out too, so that's going to be coming out shortly. That has been a lot easier to edit due to the shortness. Um, I've had several better readers go through that, and most of them seem to think there's only little tweaks need to be made before I'll be ready for you. I've even got the cover done, which I hope to share with you soon. Um, so that's coming out soon, and then Call of the Waters, and then I really need to write the third book in the Elemental Realm series. So there was Lands of Ash, Call of the Waters. The next one is Prisoners of the Earth, and I have written all of 2,000 words of that baby. Yeah, I know it's nothing, but I just started. I've got it kind of plotted out in my head. It took a while. This is going to be a complicated one. So, you know, I, I promise to keep giving you books because that's what I do. I don't think I could really stop writing. I mean, you could take away my ability to publish, and I would probably still kind of like be rambling on the internet somewhere. That's fun. And I've got a great cat, and I've got a great kids, and I've got a great husband, and you know, life's good. I really want to do more ebooks. If you ever have any questions for me, I would be happy to answer them in video form because now that I've got my cool headset, I can do that. I mean, yeah, I really could use a better webcam. I'm using the Cyberlink UCAM thing on my laptop, and I know I'm all blurry and I move really fast. I go blurry. Yeah, I'm silly. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing really well, and if you are following your books, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy them, and I will keep putting out my books and my stories, and, you know, as long as I have access to a keyboard and the internet. Bye-bye.